I couldn't even understand what you were saying. Oh, man, take a look at my life. Running out of air too fast. <laughs> Shake up a martini, pull up a chair, and let's go thrifty. This is Mid Century Wasting. because they didn't have what I wanted at Starbucks. They were out of some ingredients. So I had to order <sighs> just like panic order because I didn't know. So I just ordered something off the menu and it didn't have the foam at the top of my cold brew. And so I'm just in a bad mood now. <laughs> um, we are up and at them at 5 30 because we're going to record store day we are on our way right now to wait in line with a bunch of other weirdos yes <laughs> yes <laughs> and uh yeah it opens at eight so we've got two and a half hours to just sort of sit outside uh the record store should have brought chairs well we're, we're put up and it's true Right up our asses. I had thought about it, but bringing chairs only for her. Ugh, this is just so not good. Sorry, this is coffee. It's not satisfying though. I want to be satisfied first thing in the morning. I'm in a bad mood. So anyway, this guy, this uh, record store, <clears throat> he's got a YouTube channel. It's called the In Groove. And <clears throat> even though you'll see this vlog way after Record Store Day, I will link his live stream of today. He's got a Sam, uh, a Samra. <laughs> he has a camera set up and he's gonna be live streaming the whole event as everybody comes in to you know, buy, buy stuff. And if you don't know what Record Store Day is, it's, I'll explain it in layman's terms in non-record fanatic terms. It's a day where they kind of hold back a bunch of like new releases or re redos of old albums and they all get released on this one day and they're limited amounts. So like there's a Taylor Swift some whatever thing. Seven inch Taylor Swift. Okay, doesn't matter. Like I said, layman's terms for non-record collecting people. There's some Taylor Swift album that's coming out today and that's the thing that everybody's gonna want to get. Um, Not me. Except for Blake. We, when we went to the In Groove last night and we were talking to the guy, you know, Blake was like, well, what time do you suggest we come line up? And he's like, well, it depends on what you're wanting to get. And I jokingly said, oh, Taylor Swift, because I knew that that was the popular one, right? And he goes, well, if you want Taylor Swift, I suggest you line up right now. And it was like, yeah, we don't really want Taylor Swift. But by the sounds of what he said, Blake probably will get everything that he wants to get since we're getting here this early. They don't open till eight. He said the last hour before they open is when it goes from like 20 people in line to like hundreds of people in line. So that's why we're going early enough to make sure uh, Blake gets what he wants. Because Blake's got to get what he wants, doesn't he? Mm, no, I don't have to be doing super that important. It's not the other world if I don't get what I want. I know. He's not like overly weird about it, but he, you know, we're here for the experience. I mean, I'm excited. I want to get it. Yeah. Yeah, but you're not overly weird about yeah, it. I, don't, I got a lot of records in the back. You're not going to break a window if you don't give what you uh, want. I'm going to break a window. <laughs> Some people are intense, you know? No cars will be keyed here on Record Store Day. This isn't Pyrex we're fighting over here, people. <laughs> this is just records. It is um, sunrise. I'm gonna turn you around real quick. It's awfully pretty out there right now, the sun rising. And uh, 
Oh. The lot is full already. Right, we'll park over here. Let's park over here by this. Uh... Oh, he said you could park on the street. Yeah, that's what we do. Alright. Just gonna flip it around and. Oh, yeah, we'll go where we want. That's part of this story. Yeah, there you go. Alright. Anywho. Nice. This is the situation. The situation. <laughs> It's not that big of a line. No, it's not a big deal. This has very um, estate sale vibes for me because that's what I'm used to doing. There's Blake right there. There's our spot in line. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eh, maybe about twenty people back. That is what that is what he uh, estimated when uh, when we asked him last night. So I think Blake is gonna get everything that he wants, most likely. So I was extra smart and. Forgot to charge my phone last night, so now I'm waiting in the car. Well, Blake's still uh, sitting, over, standing over there. I got out of having to wait in line for a little bit. So I'm like, ooh, I gotta charge my phone. It's only 10%. Either a dumb move or the smartest move ever. All right, we're all done. Blake got everything that he wanted, including a Taylor Swift album that he didn't even want, but he just knew they were gonna sell out and he's gonna resell it like, you know, the good businessman he is. But look, we're already done and look at how long the line still is outside. It's kinda crazy. gigantic hands so it, it looks small still anyway oh it looks good though all right we're officially on the road for the last time we just had breakfast at a really good place really good with tiger of tiger's timeless treasures if i remember i'll try to link his uh youtube in the description i meant to do that with katie too katie vintage and vinyl when we were in St. Louis, so I'll try to remember to go link everybody's pages. It's kind of hard to edit from the road, let me tell you. I'm sitting on your cord. I'm sure you're gonna be doing it though. <sighs> yeah, I'm definitely gonna take out the computer here in a minute, but a uh, that was a pleasure to hang out with Tiger <clears throat> and a really good recommendation for a place to eat breakfast in it was Tempe is where we were. Uh, yeah, super, super good. Now we're heading home. We got a solid six hours between Phoenix and Huntington Beach home. It's, it's like six hours on the dot pretty much. We miss our babies. We miss our kids.
thanks so much. Bo had a baseball game today and we missed it. My mom was sending me videos and I like could cry because I just miss them so bad. I'm at a point where it's like, I'm, I'm down, down. You're down? A little bit, yeah. Because you miss them or because of vacation Because I miss them. Yeah, oh. no, yeah, me too. Vacation is fine. Well, you know, you always get down when the vacation comes to an end. You have to go back to work. Yeah, but There's I'm down always, because I miss the boys. Yeah, I'm down because I miss them too. I miss the boys. I like our life. A lot. Hopefully someday they like to go on road trips. That's what I keep saying because this is what we like to do. So I was excited when we left, but it took me about two to three days to like start feeling missing. Yeah, you know? honestly, and we've been gone for twelve. Uh, I mean, so that's been a long time <laughs> missing them. Yeah, two after probably two nights, I was like, I miss my babies. Yeah. But. Can't wait to go with them. We're gonna be home. We get to squeeze them. And we, sh we should be home around, I don't know, six. six. I mean, we're not gonna stop. We're going. Well, we're gonna stop if I have to pee. Oh, yeah, that's true. So, six, six thirty. We'll have a cup ready for you. I'm not a male. That's a little. <laughs> I told him earlier we were in the windstorm, and I was like, what happens if I have to pee? We're gonna have to stop. And, you know, he was like, oh, we can't stop here. It's too windy. And I was like, all right, I'll just. Roll down the window and hang my ass down the window and be out of the car. What do you expect me to do? I'm not a dude. I can't just like pee in a cup or something. It doesn't all work that all way. It look like is if you're on the freeway and you put your, your wiper fluid all over. It'll shh off the top. <laughs> it would not be good. There's not a lot of options for women. You have to stop and pull over and find a bathroom. Uh, whatever. Anywho, we're on the road. We're going home. This 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 adventure is over, and then now I'm just gonna have to be dealing with all of that back there. Stay tuned for a picture this evening of uh, a big by the stack time of they everything. no, by the time they see this, it won't be this evening. Oh, that's right. It'll be like a week from now by the time I get all these stupid videos finished. So much for daily vlogging, right? Yeah. For daily vlogging, you have to actually upload every day, and I have not been uh, capable. I don't know. I, I got I got off track in uh, Iowa. I was doing a good job. Once we got to Iowa and we were hanging out with family and stuff, I just got I got out of the habit of it. But anyway, you'll see you'll see this eventually. I've been filming every day. I have been filming every day. I have been vlogging every day. I just haven't been able to edit it and get it posted every day. But what are you gonna do? So waiting for me at home. Before we left, we cleaned up the house so that, because my mom was coming to stay to watch the kids, so I wanted the house to be nice and clean for her and for them to be comfortable and get all of my reselling crap out of the way, right? So I shoved it all into my office. So now, when I get home, I'm gonna have to deal with all that. And I have all of this to add to it. And already my office, you can't even walk in it anymore because I just, I took every single reselling thing throughout the entire house and I shoved it in my office and it had kind of like been creeping into the house pretty intensely so I don't have a lot of work to do when I get home not to mention I have like I don't know eight shopping videos from our trip something like that I don't know how many it's gonna actually be but I record I filmed in a lot of places so yeah it's back to work basically is what it comes down to but still we're gonna be glad to be home you know it's been a long trip we had a great time but it's time to just get back to life so we just flew over us Ugh. yeah we're <laughs> up at the airport so anyway i'll turn this back on when uh something exciting happens like stopping to be at a rest station a rest station i was gonna say gas station or rest stop so when we reach a rest station we'll uh record again let's go away
made it to the rest stop here in almost to Quartzsite, I think, or maybe we're in Quartzsite. We're right near the Arizona and California border. Um, in fact, you see right along, right there at the tip of my finger, all the way across that sort of green patch would be the Colorado River. So as you're driving through this area, when you see this green, lifelike looking, lifelike, green, wild, green, what am I trying to say? Lush, green area in the middle of the desert. It's because that's where the river is. Oh, cool. We have a new poisonous snake, poisonous snakes and insects. See, in California, on the California side, you just get the snakes. Here you get the scorpions too. I know that from a friend who lives in uh, the Phoenix area. She says, when you're here, you have to watch out for scorpions. Isn't that fun? All right, there's Blake. He's all done. Feel better? Yeah, I was, I was just filming right here. Okay, right. my turn. Right. I didn't get my camera out fast enough, but um, we just crossed over the Colorado River. And now we are at the agricultural, the agricultural inspection station that you have to stop at when you go into California. Why do we have to do this? It's largely one of the biggest wastes of government. Okay, well... I ask you if you have any like fruits or vegetables, yeah. basically. What are you gonna say? Yes. And you say no. And well, yeah, because you don't. Yeah, there's a bunch of fruit. There's bugs all over it. <laughs> I don't know about it. Oh, okay. Maybe let's start. Didn't even make eye contact. Don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're paying these people. Are we? Or is Arizona yeah, paying yeah, them? Nice. No, it's us. It's, it's us. It's California. Yeah. Oh. No, it's fine. Right, don't get political. Stop. Okay, Stop well, it. Don't get political. Shush! Alright. There's a California sign. Well, We're welcome home. to California. We're home. This is not the best part of California, I will say. A lot of uh, drug activity out here. Although right by the river, well I'm sure it's bad right by the river too, but it's at least kind of nice right by the river. As in... Uh, <sighs> fun stuff to do. But anyway. Forget the politics. I love California. Why'd you have to say that? What's that over there? What is, what are... Looks like just hay. Is that hay? I think so. Is that hay field? Are they growing it right there? I don't know. <laughs> California does have farms, by the way. That's probably why they have the agricultural. They have so much farming that they couldn't... Yeah. They can't afford to... Well, something to take over the farm and destroy it. Yeah, it has, to do with, it has to do with fruit flies, I think, was the I thing that started it. But how are you stopping it by, you know... I think <laughs> the actual inspections are happening the with the trucks that are, are really bringing in, yeah. you know, uh, produce, the produce trucks. Yeah, maybe. But my, I think it was my uncle one time went through there before... I don't know, he didn't really, had never gone through there before or something, and they asked, you know, they stopped him and they said, do you have any fruits in the car? And he said, yeah, oh, I know who it was. It was, it was, um, my sister's husband, Aaron. Mm -hmm. I, I've heard the story. He's like, uh, do you have any fruits in the car? And because they're from Arkansas, so they didn't know, um, you know, they didn't know about that. And they stopped him and said, do you have any fruits in the car? He was like, yeah, I've got some oranges or whatever it was. And they were like, oh, okay, I'm sorry. We have to confiscate those. And they had to take them. And he was all like, they took my oranges. <laughs> <laughs> he was all mad. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, technically, we do have bananas. We have bananas and we have apples in the car. Yeah. We're freaking liars. But they didn't ask us. They didn't we, even make eye contact. We committed a felony crime. No, we didn't. They they did not. We're not going to just willingly. Oh, no, that's true. They didn't ask us. They didn't us. ask us anything. We didn't knowingly commit any crime. Uh -oh. And besides, they originated in California. Well, no, the bananas didn't. The apples that we have left, they originated in California oh, okay. anyway. So maybe that's why they didn't even bother. We had California license plates. Maybe if our license plate said 
Arkansas, they would have stopped us. Like anyway, here's beautiful uh, Blythe. It, 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 ain't, Blythe. it ain't too nice. The guy I know that I played track with in like, college is in Blythe. From Blythe? Yeah, only oh, in the house. Yeah, no. right you, don't, you don't want to be from Blythe. He's a firefighter. I apologize yeah. to anyone from Blythe. It's not... Not ideal. It's not ideal. It's just hot. It's it's a little hot, and you're growing up around a lot of desert people. And sometimes desert people. We're just gonna say they've spent too much time in the sun. Coachella up there, that little dome-looking thing, or what do they call it? Once it hut. Oh, the hut. Yeah. Right out there. Oh, it's so shaky. See all the tents. Oh, let me zoom back out so we don't make everybody sick. So we are coming out of the mountains. Coming out, out of the high altitude and going down into Coachella Valley, which is really looking beautiful right now. That's great. Coachella is in Indio. So where you see all that over there, that's Indio. Right down the street from my parents' house. Yeah, but it's when we go out here to this area and we're staying at Blake's parents' house, that's near where they have their house. And then as you go along that way, over there is Palm Springs. So this is that whole Coachella Valley, Palm Desert, Palm Springs, fun, fun place to be. And look, there's a dust devil over there. 85 degrees here. That's it? It's kind of it's not nice bad. Here, but it's still a little too hot for me. Well, not for my taste. Everything's too hot for you, Blake. <laughs> Is it above 70? Yes. Well, it's too hot for Blake. No, 70's nice. I said above 70. Uh, 70 75's okay. Mm, you definitely complain at 75. Anyway, here it is. This is the whole valley. Really nice, beautiful view of it from up here. And it is a beautiful place um, when it's not summer <laughs> and also as we were driving Blake realized that it is Coachella weekend so he made a good point that if we had because originally we we had thought that we would spend the whole day in Phoenix today spend the night again and then drive home tomorrow which is Sunday um, but we miss the kids too much and also the hotel in Phoenix was really expensive. Let's be I honest. Think it's, uh, because of that run they had. I don't know. I, don't, no, I think it was just because it was the weekend. Probably. It seemed like every weekend was just really expensive. But, um, you know, even, even if we came home later tonight, it would be really busy. Yeah. So he was saying if we had continued those plans, and came home tomorrow on Sunday, we would have been coming home with all of the Coachella traffic. So our two hour drive from, or two and a half hour drive from here, probably would have been three, four, five hours I could long, see. I could imagine it would be twice as long just because a lot of people from LA go to Coachella and then come home because you just go for the weekend, you come home Sunday night after the show. So traffic would have been ridiculous if we had timed it poorly. If we if we weren't thinking about it and we came home like tomorrow night, oh man, it would have been bad. So I'm glad for many reasons, I'm glad we're doing it the way that we're doing it. Let's face it. Coachella tickets are so expensive now. Everybody flies out of the little airport. With their they, I bet that little airport over there is filled yeah, right we'll now with, we'll with airplanes, with private, I private bet, airplanes. I bet you're right. Here's the, uh, there's the sign. Coachella. What? I couldn't even understand what you were saying. Oh, man, take a look at my life. Oh, yeah, air so fast. <laughs> India. No, the air, the airport's like right behind those bushes. Yeah, it is right. So we can't see all no. the the private jets. That would have been funny to see that though. 
Oh well. Oh well. Southern California. <laughs> We're going 22 miles an hour. Eh, not bad. We're not completely stopped. <laughs> this isn't even the biggest freeway. <sighs> no, I know. There's gonna be traffic for like the rest of the way home. Uh, no. No, I thought you said it was gonna take an hour and a half to get home from here. Hour and 13 minutes right now. Oh, good. Well, we're still on vacation, so we're gonna take the 91 Express lanes. Are we really? <laughs> Technically, Why we're not? still still a business trip. <laughs> this is still a business trip. Okay. Blake's demanding in and out because it's kind of like a tradition once you get back home from a uh, long usually when you, time away. Slow down. <laughs> usually when you leave on vacation, you get in and out. And really? Back, yeah. I always just get it when I get back. Well. Every time I go, we go up north and we're going on the five and we come out of the, um, the grapevine. Yeah. They get in and out that first, like, oh. the first exit. You get in and oh. out. That's it. I see. Gotta have Anywho. Stinks. Also, I forgot to give an update on our air conditioner. I know you're just like dying to know, you're riveted. So we did not get it fixed in Iowa. We decided to just risk it because you know, it, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So we were looking at the forecast and like, it didn't look like it was gonna be a hundred in Phoenix and it wasn't, it definitely wasn't while we were there, which was like at night and in the morning. No, no problem. So since we weren't spending like a hot hundred degree day in Phoenix, we decided like, we'll just wait it out and it's been working the entire trip. So I'm glad we didn't bother dealing with that while we were in Iowa. Uh, but now we'll probably still have to get it fixed once we're home yeah. because it's gonna get hot here pretty soon. It's a little bit windy, but it's just probably because we're just right off the freeway. Yeah. Do you think that's why? Um. No, or is it windy today? It's windy. Look at the the palm trees back there. Uh, I can't. It's too it's too sunny. <laughs> Hang on. So what is sold out so far? Question mark. Blake's been continuing to watch the live feed of Record Store Day in the car as we've been driving home. It's she's, he's just been like having it on and just like listening to what's been going on on the dashboard this whole time and i mean it's five o'clock now and it's this feed is still going that's from the go until they close it's for oh he does it the entire the entire day, entire day. hours gotcha so that's interesting well, that's 11 hours so that's till seven i think the in groove that we where we just were earlier this morning so they do a so the Taylor Swift obviously is sold out, uh -huh. the Mingus Jazz is sold out, and the Jazz Sabbath is sold out. Did you get those? With those things that you got? I got the Swift. That was the only thing that you got that yep. was sold out? So that's the whole reason we went there was to get a Taylor Swift album that no, you're going to resell online? I thought, it would be, I thought stuff would go a lot faster, but it didn't go that fast. Okay. That's okay. Blake has decided he wants to go here to this record store every record store day from now on. That was good. They had everything and it's like there's no stress. It's relaxing. Everybody's helpful. It's a little friendly. bit more stressful in Southern California. Apparently. Yeah. I liked it. It was fun. This is going to be the large Diet Coke. Thank you. The large Dr. Pepper. Any ketchup for you today? Yes, yes please. All right. Here's your straws. Ketchup. Yeah, some more. Yeah. 
ASMR. <laughs> Thank you. Home. Yes. This beauty is what they call a double double. Mine has ketchup instead of the uh, spread because the spread has pickle relish in it, and I don't do anything with pickles, not even resembling. And both kinds of onions, which means raw onions and those those tasty, can you see it? Those tasty grilled onions that are sort of dripping out of the top there. So it's time to put the camera away and ingest this. down the windows to see if we have an ocean breeze. Oh yeah, I feel it. Oh. I love that smell. Oh, it smells like home. It smells ocean like breeze. salt and oh, salt and rotten fish. <laughs> uh, oh, a little bit of cigarette smoke smell too. Okay. So this is what 4,500 miles from California to the Midwest and back looks like, including the tension pole lamp, which we immediately had to set up. Not going to stay there, but you just had to see the whole hall, not to mention all the smalls and all those boxes. And yes, those are speakers back there. Brighten it up a little bit so you can see it. There you go. There's there's the loot. Well, of course, now we are home. We have unloaded the car. I still need to unpack a lot of stuff. But I wanted to end this vlog just by saying thank you to everyone who watched. I got the nicest comments on all of these vlog videos. I'm sorry that I didn't keep up with the schedule quite right. I got a couple days behind, but I've had a really fun time sharing this trip with all of you and reading your comments every day on the videos. It was really special. And I liked how these vlogs made you think of your own experiences traveling across the country and all the recommendations we got from people, all the people we got to meet along the way. It was just a really, really perfect, great experience. So I just wanted to thank everyone who was involved in every way, especially Katie, Vintage and Vinyl. We just, we had just such a great time with her. Now, vlog's over. I'm not daily vlogging anymore. <laughs> I mean, I may someday again in the future, but we're back to the normal life now. Um, but we have the shopping videos to look forward to. I will be slowly over time putting those out one by one and you can see all the little things that we got at all these different cities and towns across the country. So a lot to look forward to still. Oh yeah. And I need to sell all this stuff or most of it anyway. So a lot of work to do still, but the uh, the fun sourcing trip is over and now there's a lot of work to do, but it's still fun, you know? So stay tuned for all that. And until next time, bye everyone. Thanks for watching.